Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing alright. My name is Sam Spielberg and welcome once again to Source Filmmaker. I have another quick tutorial for you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys a cool little feature that Valve added in Source Filmmaker a while ago. And it has something to do with the sequences for models. So I'm going to pull up a model here. going to get us a heavy, because I like heavy. And... We'll just put them right down here on the ground right quick. And we're going to go over here in our animation set editor and we're going to go to import and sequence. Actually, not yet, but I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be, uh, what I'm going to be talking about. So over here, this is the sequence window. This allows you to put in different sequences to heavy. These are the in-game sequences that you would find. So here is run with his sandwich uh, along different axes, uh, along different axes, excuse me. <clears throat> So we can change uh, the sequence around with these sliders. If we need them to run at a slant, we can do that. If we need them to run forward, if we need them to run backward, uh, this is how we would do that. Uh, now we have some options over here. Uh, the default option is don't generate root motion. So what that <coughs> so what that's going to do is when we uh, import the sequence to the model, there is not going to be any root motion. So the root transform is not moving, so he's just running in place. So, practical uses of that, if we just needed someone running in place, or if we needed to get a pose, and didn't want to deal with any motion, like any forward movement or anything like that. Uh, over here we have another option, pose params drive root. Let me see if I can remember. Pose parameters drive root. Yes, that's right. So, pose params drive root, if I recall correctly, um, means that we just have to. Th this is actually no way. Yeah, this is the, this is the default. This is the default setting, or used to be the default setting. So whenever you would import a sequence, you would uh, use the. I guess these are the pose params. You would mess with the pose params, uh, the pose parameters. Excuse me. So uh, body pitch like that, and then whatever. Um, <coughs> And then whatever pose params you set, once you imported the sequence, um, that would tell the root transform where to go. So that's kind of the default if you just want to import a sequence. If you just need heavy to run across the screen, you would use pose params, uh, drive the root transform. Now a while ago, uh, Valve added in something called the... <coughs> well, they didn't add anything called... They, a while ago, Valve added something called the Root Drives Post Params. They added a third option here, Root Drives Post Parameters, and it's kind of it. It's kind of the opposite of Post Params Drive Root. <clears throat> so again, Post Params Drive Root uh, Drive Root. That means the Post Parameters are driving the Root Transform of the model, and they're giving it the forward motion, or the backward motion, or left and right motion. They're giving it the most. They're giving the motion to the Root Transform. Well, here this third op this third option allows us to take the root transform uh, motion and uh, basically that motion tells the post parameters uh, where to be uh, and how to act. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that didn't make any sense, and we're just gonna go ahead and start with a clean slate here, and I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. It's actually pretty simple. So, th so the theory of it is, is that <coughs> uh, the root transform will drive uh, the post parameters of the uh, heavy. It'll drive where um, it'll drive the positioning of his post parameters through the root transform. So, but first, in order to do that, we have to give the root transform some motion. So, I'm just going to do something a little simple here. I'm going to go in the graph editor, place a bookmark, and right about actually two seconds. Two seconds sounds good. And then we're going to move him across, and that is his root transform again. And we're going to rotate him like this. And then we go back into our motion editor. We don't have to, but I will. Go to import sequence. Find the sequence we, uh, we want, <coughs> which in this case would be run primary. And this is his primary run cycle. His minigun is right; uh, would be right there if he were carrying it. And yeah, so this is the sequence we want. Uh, now, in order to fully use this option, root drives 
uh, post param. In order to fully use this, we need to take uh, the move axis sliders and we need to crank them all the way up to a uh, hundred. It doesn't matter or one. Excuse me. <coughs> doesn't matter in, in which way. We just need them to be fully active. And if we did, if, if I did everything correctly, it should be ready to go. So we hit open, and let's see what happened. Look at that. Now, okay, sure, that may just look like oh, you just imported the sequence. Well, let's let, let's 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 shake it up a bit. Let's make it a little more, little bit more complicated. Uh, let's throw heavy kind of over here. We'll have him run uh, over to the uh, left a little bit. And then we'll have him turn. We'll kind of give him a little bit of a warm up. And then he'll keep that turn for a bit. And he'll resume his turn. And then we'll have him kind of pop over here a little bit. So let's just review that, make sure that's good. Now obviously it's a l obviously it's a little broken, but that is because we need to refresh the uh, sequence. So just want to make sure that the transform is okay. Um, we could mess with it a little bit more, but it's not the whole point. I'm going to anyway, but uh, just kind of bring it back a little bit, make sure uh, everything is kind of even. Um, yeah, and everything looks good. So let's go back to the heavy import sequence, <coughs> run primary. Uh, root drives post param, and then we take both uh, both axis sliders and we crank them up to one. We hit open, and what do we got? Let's see if we can get a little closer into that. I'm gonna lock a uh, free bonus tip. If you want to uh, view how something looks, you can take the work camera, you can lock uh, you can right click whatever bone you want to specifically watch for. Th this is more of just for like following models or something like that, following the position of something you can set. Set work camera lock and now the work camera will follow the root transform. So I'm gonna play it in slow motion. And we can see that his pelvis, we can see that his body is adjusting. You see how his legs and how his pelvis are adjusting to the rotation that we threw in earlier? That was not animated at all. That was that was completely uh, Source Filmmaker and the computer just uh, working out where the post params would need to be uh, in um, <clears throat> uh, in relation to uh, the motion of the root transform. So it's a it's a pretty nifty option. Uh, I myself haven't ha haven't found a whole lot of use for it, um, but it is pretty cool. It it, it is a nice alternative also to uh, pressing F11 and going into the game mode. The game mode is a little um, I mean it's it, it's a little more easy to control since it's you know essentially going into the game. Whoa! But um, this is still a nice little alternative too. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys found this useful or at least interesting. Um, if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, feel free to ask. If you guys have any questions about anything Source Filmmaker related, or I guess anything at all, feel free to ask. If you guys have any suggestions for more Source Filmmaker tutorials, please let me know. Uh, I'm trying to think of some more, but um, you know, if you guys have anything specific that you guys want to learn, please feel free to let me know. Well, that's all I have to say, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I am once again Sam Spielberg, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic day.